a good friend of mine. We crossed paths. Wow, how long has it been, Craig? It's been a while. Gosh, I don't We're know. not old, are we? No. No, you aren't. <laughs> <laughs> I want to introduce a friend of mine. His name is Craig Richard. And he is a former pastor up here at Lee Memorial. And that's where we met. The Lord brought us together. He is also not only a messenger for God, but he's also an artist for God. He creates beautiful paintings and artwork that display the glory of God. And so tonight, he is going to be here to do a picture of a wonderful, oh, ooh, wonderful piece of scripture. Many of you have heard this scripture before, and it's just what Miss Sherry was talking about. You are on the mind of Jesus. Thank you, Sherry. Um, well, I've, I've been a painter for many years, ever since I was a small child, like many of young. And uh, you do a lot of different things in your life, you know? And uh, I did a lot of art when I was a kid. Probably a lot of you kids do painting, do drawing, and stuff like that. And then you get into other things in your life, you know, and so I went into ministry, uh, did ministry for many years, and I am in a new stage of ministry now that, uh, that I minister through my art and through the connections that I make. Um, you know, Scripture says that as you go along, you're supposed to share the gospel, right? And so each of you in your lives can do that as well. Uh, you can share the gospel as you go along. Just You don't have to go knocking doors and stuff like that. You can be a friend to your to somebody. You know, help somebody in some way that through your life and through your words, you share what God has given you. Um, God gives us talent all. Every single person has a talent in something. And so... You can use that talent to benefit the world, to benefit other people. And uh, I just wanted to share with you, because as, as Sherry was talking, there was something came to me. Uh, and it's from uh, the Gospel of John. And maybe y'all can kind of um, uh, say this along with me. I want to repeat John 3.16 and 17. So you probably know John 3.16. If you do... Yes, very good. Let's all say it together, though. We'll go kind of slow so that we all kind of can do it together. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. But it's John 3.17 I really want to share with you. And, and it goes like this. John 3.17 says, For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world. He didn't send Him to condemn the world. But to save the world through Him. God, Jesus, is on your side. You know, if you're picking teams, I, I want to pick Him. Okay, now your turn. I want to pick Him. Jesus picked you. Jesus is on your side. He's on your team. And if you remember that, no matter what you go through, you're going to be able to handle it. That's what Sherry was reading to us before. When she was reading Psalm 139, she was talking about God is on your side. And the only question is, are you on God's side? Right? You know, because you, you can say, He can pick you for His thing, and you can go, nah, I don't want to be on your thing. That's up to you. You can do that. That's kind of a, not a good move. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Hey, let me say this. Y'all need to get her hand because she's the one that loves on you a week after week. I do love and love this. That's your Bible fan.
Yeah. 